All right, hey, what's up, guys? Coach Mack, Play Fast Football. All right, today we're going to do a video on uh, kill calls or cans, all right, which is uh, a way if you're not in the tempo world, which uh, most of the things I've described in, on the Play Fast Football site because I'm a tempo team, uh, something you're going to have to do to get yourself in and out of some good plays. Make sure you check out some of our partners, Game Strat, Sideline Replay System, we use at the school I'm currently at, Baker Sports, which is a company we use uh, for our uniforms, our spirit packs, our coaches' gear players gear, any fan stores or, or parent stores that we use, we use Baker Sports. Dome, which is the official headwear sponsor of Playfest Football and the school that I'm currently at. If you like customizable hats, make sure you check out Dome. Difference USA, the ultimate striking machine. We've got three in our weight room that we use right now in the offseason and during the summer to work on that skill-specific uh, striking mentality, how to keep your elbows in, thumbs up, get thousands of reps, you don't need a partner. Just Play Football, which is the playbook tool we use uh, the software you, we use at the school that I'm currently at, I also use it for uh, play fast football for webinars and for my Patreon site or anytime I'm going to speak at a clinic. That's what I diagram on. High and tight ball security training aid teaches players how to properly secure the football, have to hold the ball in the proper position, wrist above the elbow, proper points of pressure. If you do that, you'll hear an auditory beep. If you hear the beep, you know you've got the ball secured. If you don't, you know that you're doing something wrong. TD Publishing, which is a company that is uh, helping educate coaches and continue the growth of the game of football in the coaching world with books and videos. Uh, they have a bunch of new videos that have just come out and uh, one of the most recent ones they had a couple weeks ago a six-part series on the Division II national champ, uh, national football champs, Ferris State, so make sure you check out TD Publishing. Coach Tools, which is a new way all right, to evaluate and grade players if you're tired of the old-fashioned way, writing it on a pad, charting things on a pad, all right, this is new software which you can customize the tabs, how you want to do it, set it up how you want to grade and evaluate your players. So take that frustration out, use the new software, check out Coach Tools. All right, so for us, most of the time, and, and a lot of things we've talked about in play fast football, we are a tempo offense. So a lot of our answers when we are trying to push the pace have to be built into the play call because we are not going to, when we are playing at, at certain tempos, we are not going to check plays. So if we're in a certain play, Quarterback has to have the ability through either access throws, gift throws, or you know, read game, whatever we may be doing. He has to have the ability to get the football into the right places and take some pressure off himself in the offensive line because we are not going to check when we are playing at that tempo. When you're playing at some different tempos, all right, or you're playing at kind of a check with me pace, or you always want to get yourself into a good situation with your play calls, you have to have the ability to either kill it or can it, which means you have a call that you've made that you like, but a certain look from the defense will get you to kill it and put you in something else. A great example of that would be, all right, some type of field side boot. So if the ball's on a hash like it is 70% or, or more of the time in high school football, if the ball is on or near a hash and you've got a field side play called like a boot and you want to get the ball out on the perimeter off of some run action, and you want to give the quarterback a chance to move the pocket, he's got a chance to make easy throws, or he has a chance to attack the defense by becoming a runner and, and pressuring them, attacking the line of scrimmage downhill, all right? But the other team comes out in some type of field pressure look, all right? Maybe they've got two walked up on the line to the field, or, all right, they're showing you something that you think is going to be a field side pressure. Maybe it's a tendency deal, down and distance call, all right? You've got to have the ability to get out of those plays. And one of the great ways to do it is to go from a field side boot killed into a short side missile screen. All right, so if you think that you're getting the field side pressure, whether it be because there's two walked up, whether it be a down and distance tendency, whether it be an alignment of the front or the mic or the SAM or something that you see that you think tips you or the quarterback, it tips him off into a field side pressure. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna get out of the field side boot okay and you're going to get into the short side screen all right so in other words if we felt like we were getting this field side pressure and it was going to be like a three under three deep or even a man deal because screens are great right against man deals all right instead of forcing the boot back into the field side pressure and forcing the quarterback to either pull up or throw some type of underneath check down to the late pin player all right or try to throw a drag over the top whatever it may be all right so let's just say within that concept you know, maybe we were running the outside comeback here, all right, maybe the, uh, the tight end was going to be a pin player that was going to release late here. We were going to bring uh, maybe short motion 
and then bring this player behind the line to the flat. We were going to run the over route with the backside receiver. All right, we were going to go some type of maybe stretch action from the pistol, bring the quarterback back on the boot, right? So we had that play in mind, and that was the play that we wanted to run. But now with the two off the edge, if, if the tight end pins, all right, the mic, and the Sam still comes off the edge, the ball is going to have to come out of his hand either to the over or after the pin and the release right here, it's going to have to go to the inside component there, all right, on the bootleg because of the field side pressure coming from the Sam. So one of the things we could do is we could have a kill it, all right, where we could have some type of deal in our offense where, you know, whether it's, it's within what we do, check with me, all right, or it's part of our tempo world, however we're doing things, we've got a kill it call, and now we're going to go back to some type of missile screen to the boundary to where we're going to work the number one back in. So now we can get out and block the corner with the number two there, all right, we could set the edge with the tackle, we could set with the guard and get out. We could set with the center and get out. We could set with the backside guard and then rat kill, all right, or use the backside guard wherever we need to. Because now if it's a three under three deep deal, if we get the corner blocked here, all right, and we get the guard out to the two seam player and the center out to the middle hole player, all right, now we've got the missile coming back inside. We'll push the back to the strong side there all right, we might, because of the pressure now, we might end up setting the tackle, setting the tight end. All right, clearing out front side, quarterback will drop and look front side towards the flare or the tailback push, and then he'll come back and we'll throw the alley screen, all right, into, or the missile screen back into the boundary, all right, away from the field side pressure, hoping that if we can get that end to, long, to, to cop outside, contain outside, work outside, hopefully he continues to pass rush. So if we can get that in to continue on his contain rush there, all right, now we can set the nose and let him go. So hopefully you get the nose there. You set the four eye, that's long sticking, let him go and hope he continues to go. You stay on the mic, you stay on the Sam, and now you've got yourself a screen thrown back into, all right, into the boundary away from the field side pressure. And you can do that, you know, you can package that however you want to. I know it in the NFL for a while, you know, with Peyton Manning and a lot of guys that used to be big, they'd come up with a run and a pass, and he'd have a certain pass call, and if he got a certain look, he would check it to a certain run. Or maybe sometimes they had run-run options where they had, you know, maybe inside zone to one side and wide zone or stretch to another side, and based on the look or the leverage, he was going to get them into the right play. It's the same theory using kill calls or cans. All right, what you're basically doing is it's a check with me deal where you're up on the ball, you've got the call, all right, and then you've got the tempo where it's kill versus certain looks and you get into another call. All right, you might want to package, you know, you might want to package field boot. All right, and you might want to package that with a boundary run. So if you get something to the field that you don't like or you get some type of look to the field that you don't like for the boot, you can come back and attack the boundary with a boundary run. So anytime... You know, we've always talked a lot uh, about being in a tempo world and running plays that, that have built-in answers and running plays that have access throws and all that. But, you know, if you're going to play at different tempos in your base tempo, if you're going to be check with me or you're going to have a way to kill or can some things, you've got to be able to get in and out of plays. And one of the easiest ways to do that is with, all right, theories that attack the field and then theories that attack the boundary. So you tag your field side boot with boundary screen, or you tag your field side boot with a boundary run to where if you're getting an alert, a down and distance, an alignment, a tendency, all right, where guys are showing certain things that you think you're getting, you kill the field side boot and you get back into the boundary side play. The thing, you know, with the chess match on offense, defense, the thing that's made this so much fun is now all the sim pressures to where now teams know that if they can sim some field side pressure and then those guys can drop out, they might be able to get you to either set the protection there or they get you to, to kill or can into something to where they are simming the field side pressure, all right? They're dropping out of that, bringing a guy from the boundary, and they might get you to run a play right back into the look they want you to run it in. So there's always going to be the chess match with offense and defense, and, you know, guys have the ability to kind of punch, counter punch with what they're doing. That's what makes the game so much fun. So if you're going to be in that world where you want to do some check with me, uh, some other stuff, just build in some simple kill or can philosophies, all right, where you come up to the ball and you've got this play 
called, and if you kill it, you're going to go into a different play. It can be any combination of plays you like. It doesn't have to be the ones I diagrammed on a board. Those are just two examples. It can be a run with a pass, a run with a run. It can be a pass with a pass. It can be a drop back theory killed into a quick game theory. It can be a run paired with a screen. It's anything that's going to get you in a better look based on the play that you had called, all right, originally when you thought you were getting uh, something that takes away the field side play. All right, I hope, uh, I hope this video helps you guys out. Obviously, it's a little bit different from what we normally do when we talk about tempo and, and uh, you know, RPOs and regame and access throws and gift throws and all those things that we talk about playing at a fast pace. Obviously, if you get out of that, the, the, you know, the antagonistic side to the fast tempo is the check with me deal where you're trying to get yourself in good calls all the time. You're trying to get your quarterback how to understand how to put you in good calls, and that would be with the kill or can system and tagging your plays together. Nothing revolutionary, nothing brand new. People have been doing it for years and there's people out there that probably do it a lot better than we do, all right, or I do, all right, but this is just a thought for you to carry on offense. Uh, I like it as another part of tempo, so I like it as a addition to our base tempo, our up, you know, our uh, up tempo stuff, that our speed ball, our turbo stuff, and then I like to have a fourth option, which is this kill can tempo, which now we're in a world where it's a check with me purely. It changes the tempo for the defense. They can't sit on one tempo. It gives you the ability to, to get into and out of good and, and bad play calls, and it's a little bit different than your standard operating procedure when you are a tempo team. So uh, hopefully this video helps. Uh, again, if you are uh, not a subscriber, make sure you click that sub subscribe button. Excuse me. Uh, if you do subscribe, turn on notifications so you know every time we do a video or I go on YouTube live. Leave a, uh, a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you like the, the content or how we present the content, or if you don't like it, thumbs up, thumbs down always helps. And then if you can leave a comment, I get comments on videos all the time. If I see them, I will respond to them, whether they are uh, positive, negative, agree with me or don't agree with me. These videos are all my opinion. Uh, the ability to have followers and people like you that watch these videos uh, and then give your opinion is what makes YouTube and, and play fast football and everything else we do, the game of football in general, so great because it is opinion based. So even if it's a comment that doesn't agree with me, I will always try and respond to the best of my ability if I can see it because the interaction between uh, me and the audience, in, in my opinion, is what makes what we do uh, so special. So again, uh, if you're in spring football right now, good luck to you. You're probably about a week and a half or two weeks out of your game. Hope everybody stays healthy. Hope your installs are going well. Uh, if you're getting ready for the summer, hope you close out the school year uh, on a high note and your weightlifting uh, or your off-season program on a high note. And then everybody, no matter where you live and in what state uh, you live in, as soon as we kick into summer, everybody is now in that transition mode to you know summer workouts, preseason football, regardless of whether you had spring football or not. So uh, good luck to everybody out there playing a spring game. Stay healthy. Get all the things you want accomplished. Thank you for following Play Fast. And remember, you won't play well until you play fast. And I will see you all next time.